All right guys, welcome back to Underdog Painting. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint a Scarab Occult Terminator from the Thousand Suns. Now, Thousand Suns are notoriously difficult to paint with all that detail, that like gold edging and stuff like that. But hopefully I've found a way how to do it easy. So, if you wanna keep up to date with anything that's happening in the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Leave comments in the videos, like and dislike if you want to, stuff like that, you know. All right, guys, let's go take a look how we paint this. <laughs> Right guys, so today we are painting the Scarab Occult Terminators. So what we are doing now is painting the full model with Retributor Armour. Now you can make this step a lot easier if you had the spray. Obviously you don't have to spray the model black first. You can just spray this straight on. I don't have the spray, hence why I'm painting on. Now another way to do it is paint the blue first and then go around and paint all the like all the etching and the trim and stuff in gold that might be a bit you know of a ball ache <laughs> you might get bored after a while but you know either way you want to do it that's how you do it so now what we're doing is painting the silver parts so the sword we're going to go over the bolt gun the casing is going to be black but just paint the full bolt gun um silver color so I think it's just a lot easier because then obviously you can block in the uh, the black casing. Also, it's got some um, pipes going down the back of the arms, so I'll just pick them out with the uh, lead belcher. And also, I think it's got some exhaust pipes on the back, so I'll pick them out as well. And that's what it looks like with all the uh, the gold and silver on. So now what we're going to do is tackle this blue armour. So I've got Thousand Suns Blue, and we're just going to paint every panel, leaving the gold um, trim uh, gold. Obviously, if you go over and you make a mistake, it's not too much of a, a worry. Just obviously go back with your Retributor armour and touch the um, the trim up. Obviously, the least uh, mistakes you do, the better. And that's what it looks like with all the blue painted in. Now, I actually went over quite a lot of the yeah, the gold, so I had to go back and touch it up. So what we're going to do now is wash the full model. I chose null and oil. You can use any wash you really want, but null and oil, null and oil sorry, for me is... Uh, just a, a, a nice colour. And there we go. It's obviously darkened up a bit. So what we're going to do is go back over the blue. I'm not so much bothered about the, the gold. It's the blue that I wanted to make pop on, uh, on this model. So we've got a watered down Thousand Suns blue. And what we're doing here is just applying that to the model. Leaving the... Um, the recesses and leaving some of the um, edges of the model just so when it dries if it's watered down correctly it will leave like a, a nice fade and there we go guys that's all the blue painted in so now what we're going to do is make this blue pop even more by using araman blue and what we're going to do is just go around and edge highlight all the panels. Um, if you want to do, you know, the side parts here, just angle your brush at a 45 degree angle and use the side of your brush. Now these parts, you might have to use the tip of your brush because you're going to catch the silver if you don't. But, um, you know, just take your time, go around. It will be worth it to make your model look pretty cool. Uh, and then what you can do as well is use a bit of uh, Temple Guard Blue right on the corners um, and just add a little bit of Temple Guard Blue. That'll make it pop even more. So 
So now what we're going to do here, guys, is work on the yellow. So I've I've got um, the foundation paints from years and years ago. It's got a, a yellow colour in there called High End and Dark Sun. And it's one coat coverage, so that's what I'm using at the moment. Now, as you can see, I have gone over the blue and I've gone over a little bit of the gold. But that's not a problem. Uh, you can obviously just go back over, paint the gold in and go back over and paint your, your blue in. And that'll be all right. Obviously, but just take your time. Now we're onto the loincloth, and what I'm using here is Administratum Grey. I do apologise that the uh, it's going to be blurry. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, use a bit of Administratum Grey, go over that. And then what I've used is uh, Drakenoff Nightshade, which is a blue, just to shade that in. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. So yes, yeah, so that's it when the uh, wash is all dried on the loincloth. Now what we're going to do is just basically go over that again with the Administratum Grey, leaving all the recesses um, blue. I just think it looks pretty cool. You can obviously use a bit of a Grax Earth shade if you wanted it, like a brownish colour. But I just like the idea of like a, a blue coloured cloth kind of thing. If that makes sense. So there you go guys, and obviously just touch up the gold if you've gone over the gold with the Administratum Grey. And that is how you paint a Scarabble Cult Terminator to tabletop ready standard. So this is what it looks like guys, uh, once it's all done, obviously base it however you want to base it. I haven't decided how I'm going to base mine yet, um, hence why it's just on a black uh, base. But... I'm like a snow effect at the moment, so I might do all mine with snow. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Leave your comments down below of what you think of this. And I'll see you all in the next one.